We've been asked many times by the CNC community and, sh and shops preparing to buy their first or second CNC machine, why a CNC manufacturer or importer would still use rubber belts on one or three axes to move the machine. My name is Chris with the latest CNC Tech. In this short video, I'm going to give you the CNC Tech breakdown about rubber belts. In the mid 90s, CNC manufacturers started using rubber belts to increase the speed of CNC routers, making them fast enough to cut wood and plastic using ball screw on all axes. Rubber belts look like this and were used on all axes. This was the only solution 25 years ago. The problem with rubber belts is that it slacks and all axes start running a little different as they stretch during use. In today's CNC standard, this would not be acceptable in most cases. Then in 2001, the gear reducer for CNC machines was introduced, allowing for constant repeatability and fast paced production with the new helical rack and pinion, which no longer used outdated rubber belts and long ball screws. Rubber belts have their place in hobby machines or old second generation CNC technology. Rubber belts might all be the same when new, but as soon as they get used, each belt takes on a life of its own and starts to vary in its electricity. A giveaway to this old technology is a CNC has a personal computer acting as a controller. A personal computer does not have the processing power to handle the advanced servo drives and gear reducers that are on the market today. CNC machines and machine centers with current fourth or fifth generation CNC controllers cannot even use rubber belts as they will constantly show the errors on each belt being used. Paying a CNC expert to retention rubber belts on a weekly basis is expensive and a waste of time in a commercial shop. Understanding what drives your machine is just as important as knowing how to operate it. A tremendous cost savings to building a CNC using rubber belts if the buyer understands what they are really getting. Now, with fifth generation CNC, the advanced servo drives simplify and remove so much old technology and mechanical parts and wiring out of the equation, allowing CNC machines the most robust torque, speeds, zero backlash, constant monitoring, and no homing or performing of daily machine calibration. We will talk more about the fifth generation no homing in the next video. In summary, using rubber belts on a commercial machine center is not recommended. When you're shopping around for a CNC that's right for you, you will not find a $75,000 CNC machine using ball screws and rubber belts on its X or Y axis. You just won't. Now, if you're making dinosaurs and birdhouses with a CNC router under 20,000, you're good with using rubber belts and with ball screws. But on a commercial level, fourth and fifth generation CNC is the way to go. Whether you need a new CNC right away or sometime in the future, or if you just have questions, we wanna hear from you. We welcome your questions and we'll help in any way we can. Call us at 714-581 5999 or come to our Santa Ana factory to see where it all happens or online at cncfactory.com. I'm Chris Corrales. This is CNC Tech.